So you've heard that a Morton's toe is a long second toe compared to the big toe. But it looks more like this rather than this. This is actually macrodactyly right here. But this is probably more harmful to you long term in terms of your foot biomechanics. This will most likely get fixed as a kid and it won't give you biomechanical problems, but this will. Now the reason it will is the site of the metatarsal joints and that's what you have to worry about not the length of your big toe compared to your second toe the reason for this is normally the first metatarsal joint right here is supposed to be within two millimeters of right here but as you can see in this situation it's not so what's going to happen is your center of weight on your push off is going to be decreased at your big toe joint putting more pressure on the second and third metatarsal joints right here so you're gonna have pain in the center of your foot and this is called metatarsalgia another thing it does in order to push off with the short first big toe you're gonna to have to turn your foot out so as you can see right here you got a kink and this is called rear foot valgus and so your foot has to turn out more so your big toe can reach the ground and push off and this is going to lead to the formation of hammer toes because the tendons are going to pull at different angles because your foot's turned out. It's going to lead to stretching of the ligaments across the bottom of your foot. This is the famous plantar fasciitis and the most common cause of heel and arch pain. And since you're turning your feet out, you're going to get knee pain, hip pain, and back pain because your legs are going to be turning out, bending, and you're going to be compensating on other areas of your body. So a short first rate can cause knee, hip, and back pain. So how do you take care of this? Well, at home, a lot of people, if you look around the internet, make pads like this. And you can flip, you can make one yourself, although I'll give you better recommendations. Put it around your big toe so it creates a pad underneath. And the idea is, as you can see in the bottom right here, since your first ray is shorter, you bring the ground up to it. Right here you have about a 1 8 inch lift on your orthotic and what happens is as you go to push off you're, you don't have to turn your foot out to get your big toe to the ground because the floor is brought up to it through this extension. And you could buy this in small gel pads. You could buy this incorporated into an insert like this. So again here so you don't have to turn your foot out like this. And this is in both feet. Normally the heel is supposed to come down right here. So here's what a professional custom made insert looks like. Uh, the insert's molded to your foot and this part's the Morton's extension. Now you can get a custom one made at your podiatrist, but if you don't have insurance, look for the term Morton's extension and buy, try and look for a rigid insert with a Morton's extension. These things can probably run you about $30 if you find them in the right place online. But it'll stop your foot turning out and it'll bring the floor to your big toe joint. And it'll avoid back pain, knee pain, hip pain, plantar fascia pain, and hammer toe pain. So if that doesn't work, that's kind of the best shot conservatively. There are surgical options. You can cut a little bit of the metatarsal head it shortens the big toe joint you'll be back on your feet in no time in fact you can walk in a surgical shoe for about two to three weeks move to rigid shoes and then eventually at about the four to five to six week point depending on how it's healed you're back on your feet and this problem's gone forever do not try any of this at home alone without supervision this is presented by Michigan Foot Doctors. If you think our information helped you, give us a thumbs up and come visit the site for even more.